Hey everyone, Richard here for iMore.com with a first look at Adobe Lightroom for the iPad. So here we are with Lightroom uh, loaded up here on the iPad. We're going to jump straight into it. So when you open up the app, this is, uh, this is the first thing you'll see, providing you have images, uh, of course. This is the collections view. Uh, I'm signed in here to my Creative Cloud, so uh, I can actually bring these over from Lightroom on my Mac, which is a really, really handy thing to do. You need to be using uh, the newest version of Lightroom uh, from Adobe, which is 5.4, but you'll see this little button here on the left-hand side of your collections on the desktop, uh, if you've got the compatible version. Checking those, you get them synced over so they uh, magically appear on your iPad, if you like. But we can, we can of course create collections on, our, on the iPad, uh, so we'll just fire one up here. Um, and we can also import photographs into a collection on the iPad as well, um, which is really nice because this is, this is effectively a full-blooded version of Lightroom um, designed just for mobile. So uh, we'll add some photographs here. You can, uh, you can only add from your camera roll on the iPad. Now that's mainly going to be down to the... the, the you know, the hardware limitations that Apple uh, have imposed. But if you, whatever you've got saved on your iPad in your camera roll, you can import into Lightroom. So there's an extra step to get photographs off your DSLR, as uh, we're showing here. But once you've imported them, you can add just as if you know you'd uh, you'd taken the photographs actually on your iPad. So there's an extra step, but you can still get your DSLR camera photographs onto into Lightroom on your iPad. And of course. These are raw files as well that I've imported here. Really, really uh, nice to see, obviously, that Adobe has, has allowed, us, uh, allowed us to do that. So we'll fire up a photograph here and take a look at the kind of the editing interface. Uh, all the main controls, all the main tweaks, uh, adjustments, effects, everything is across the bottom of the display. Nice big buttons. Uh, and when you tap them, you get these kind of uh, pop-up menus if there are different selections available. And you also get this slider bar if it's something like adjusting the, uh, the temperature here. You can see it real time in front of you, change everything up. And then obviously once you're happy with the images, you can export them. You can either sync them back to your desktop computer in the same way that we synced our images over from our desktop to our iPad, we can sync them back. Or as we've just seen, we can, uh, we can use the share intents to share them to socials or to save them to our iPad. Um, so there we go, that's a very quick look at Adobe Lightroom Mobile for the iPad. It's not as involved as the desktop version, but it's near enough. Thanks very much for watching.